Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and back with some Gravitine Tactics. Now, this isn't what I had planned to do today, but I've been bitten by the bug, so decided to jump in and we're just going to launch straight into this Pileshi campaign here. Uh, August 1941, playing as the Germans. So let's go ahead and uh, leave all that as it is. So this is from the Raging Bridgehead DLC, which covers part of the advance on Leningrad. And I think the title I've seen is On the Luga Line. So this down here, let's zoom in. This is the River Luga. And we have the 1st Panzer Division uh, has crossed the river. Um, the, the, the German advance had, had a slight pause and the Soviets had used the pause to try and throw up a, a temporary defensive line uh, to delay their advance on Leningrad. And the 1st Panzer Division here had just managed to burst through that defence. So they're now trying to advance further still. First Panzer Division was part of the 41st Armoured Corps, uh, commanded by General Lieutenant Reinhardt. Um, and I think to their right they had the 56th Panzer Corps under Model, no, under von Manstein. Um, and that was a, there was another delay because they had argued that the two Panzer Corps should be combined for this drive. Uh, but eventually the 1st Panzer Division laid off. So we're going to play this campaign, see how we get on. I'm not going to change any of the battle group composition for now or any of the reinforcement um, preferences. I'll leave that and see how things develop. Okay, so let's just come straight down to turn one. Combat mission, oh, let's go back uh, to what we're looking for here, view the briefing. Attack in the direction of Gankovo, which is here, and further to Izvoz, which yeah, is up here. So those are our two main objectives. Uh, 2nd Battalion of the 1st Motorised Infantry Regiment attacks in the north direction. So 2nd of the 1st Motorised Infantry. 2nd uh, of 113th here attacks up towards Pelesini. And 2nd Battalion 1st Tank Regiment just occupies this region to the west of the village. Ready to repel attacks from the Volona, Volna Maximovka direction. Uh, well, there's Maximovka. There's Volna. So I think historically, Soviet forces from Estonia that were falling back towards Leningrad would have been traversing up in this sort of area. They presented a threat to the left flank. Potentially. So the tanks are there to repel any attacks from there. And then follow the infantry units to capture the village of Izvoz. Right. First Battalion, first tank regiment consisting of a reinforced company uh, here. Right. So the first uh, battalion, first regiment, motorized infantry regiment, anti tank battalions, and companies of engineering. So all of this in here advances up. Yeah, up to Slipin though. First motorcycle battalion replaces the first battalion 113th and receives the task to secure the right flank of the division from the east. That is as far south as we can go. Um, third battalion 118th there is under the operational control of the division, secures the right flank of the division in the south, moves along the southern bank of the Palada River. That's this river running up here, right, so... Got it. We'll try and follow the orders here as best as I'm able. Uh, 
and let's just go ahead then. Okay. I don't expect this front line is going to be too strongly held. And we've got... We could... Yeah, we could deploy one company of each... Uh, one company of tanks with each attack or each advance. Okay, let's start with uh, let's orders go here. First motorized infantry regiment, just attacking up in this sort of direction. So let's try to move you right through there, you there, bring the tanks in behind, up to there. And yeah, we'll move the no, hang on, these tanks will go with the 118th, I think. So we'll bring the sixth here forward to that position. Remembering that the 118th have to advance in the south of the river here, so you will attack there. Bring you just up to there. We'll keep you back here in reserve for now. And we'll try push you forward up to there. These tanks, a nice bit of high ground there. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Right, okay, and the eighth and sixth, you're moving up there. And these guys here. I just push you straight forward. I think we want the tanks, well, where do we want the tanks actually? Maybe we have the tanks here. I'd imagine that's probably going to all be pack 38s at best at this point in the war. Where would they get the best fields of fire? It's presuming all of this is forest. Um, the tanks are going to have to go along the road. But that looks like the only spot you can actually get to. Can you advance them? No, you can. You can get to there. Let's not drive our half tracks into the swamp. You advance there. Tanks can go into there. Just. Right, of course, that's um, not part of the actual battle map. We'll just bring the. I thought it was moving you to there. You're moving up there. You go there. I want you to advance to there. The engineers I was going to bring up here. Okay, the first motorized infantry regiment. I'll just edge you forward to there. Tank regiment, bring you up here. Leave the artillery where it is, 113th. 
Hmm. Yeah, to there for now. We've got the hundred and eighteenth. Can probably just leave you there. Okay, is that what I'm going with? I think it is. Yep, let's accept that and move on to the next turn. Okay, first battle. We've got one uh, company from the 1st Motorized Infantry Regiment. This must be the 2nd Battalion of the 1st Motorized Infantry Regiment. Um, they shouldn't be involved in this fight. This will just be the 113th. These tanks are involved. And they should have been heading over that direction. Maybe they still will. Anyway, let's go ahead and see what this map looks like. Okay, lots of open space for us to traverse. Uh, and there's some there for the Germans to, uh, the Soviets to defend, but they're mostly in the forest. Again, some open space over here. Let's check the map. Right, so this sector here and this sector can't change hands. And I would imagine that, who's this down here? Hirsch, where are you, Hirsch? Um, you're part of Schaefer. Yes, so you're the first motorized infantry regiment, so uh, you won't be involved in this battle really. So you're just going to hold this left hand side. There's no point really advancing you forward and taking casualties when we can't take the ground. So we can focus on this area over here. And we have Krugel, 6th Company, back in here, and then Rudel, up there, Thess, where are you at? You're away over here. Right. Right, so uh, we've got tanks. What actually do we have? have you, can't imagine, I can't believe I haven't looked at my tanks yet. Panzer threes. Um, I'd imagine they're the same. We've even got our tank, our command company. Uh, but it's all Panzer threes. Uh, Alf J. So plenty of tanks, we've got 10 here, and the rest back here. Yeah, so that, that corresponds with the map. I think these were the tanks that were supposed to be pushing over to this direction. So we'll probably hold these guys back in Overwatch, uh, maybe somewhere down in here. What's the terrain like? We've got some high ground. Uh, not much right at the edge. But yeah, we could maybe leave these two back in this sort of area here, provide overwatch fire. And it looked like this is, yeah, uh, slopes down towards the river behind us, so we've got some dead ground positions in here. Quite close to the farmstead. Um, right. So that's definitely going to be our first objective. 
try and get some infantry supported by tanks to attack up from the house towards the farmstead. We've got another victory location in here. And what do we have? Three companies, excluding uh, Schaefer's. So Krugel, I guess you're going for the farmstead. A riddle up here. You'll be going in to clear the forest. And Thess. Back in reserve. I think we might actually have one of Schaefer's platoons hold the farmstead here and a second platoon will hold the western end of the village. Just in case anything does emerge from the forest there. We've got some anti-tank guns. Hmm. Should I keep some tanks back here on overwatch? I don't know if they would be all that helpful. Would they be able to see anything emerging from the... F yeah, maybe they could see over the top of the buildings in there. Is this a position? They might be a bit lucky to spot anything coming out of the forest. So I think we'll use our tanks over here. Maybe have our anti-tank guns. Because there is a road, actually. There's another track. Road, he says. Um... Yeah, I might just want to leave the anti-tank guns back here to make sure we don't lose any terrain to tanks. If we've got 10 Panzer threes over here. In fact, is it 10? Well, uh, Nadler, yeah, you're not going to be part of the attack, so it will be 10 Panzer threes. That's more than enough to deal with anything it poses a problem there, he says. And in terms of artillery, what do we have? Okay. Granatwerfers, Lechtfeldhalbitzers, Schwerfeldhalbitzers, and Schwer Infantry Geschütze. So 650mm tubes, 405s, and 680s. Some of that belongs. In fact, the mortars and the 105s hmm, they belong over here. So our heavy artillery, let me see, can we actually zero in Fire, not there. You can. Right. Okay, so that's not so good. That means you're definitely going to have to be up with the attack. In that case, maybe Rudel, you're going to change position. We'll have you advance up from the house. Since your spotter will need to be able to see the targets and designate them. And Thess, you would then take Rudel's place here. You would be tasked with clearing out the forest and you can have some pre-planned fire, hopefully pre-designated targets, at least if not pre-planned fire, which then leaves Krugel. You will be back in reserve. Um, I might actually task you with taking this victory point. So if um, you were thinking, Thess, if you advance and clear out this part of the forest, and then Krugel advances 
behind you is the second wave to clear out this flank. Because once we've taken the farmstead, do we need to advance any further? Not really. I would like to push on and clear out that forest as well, just to make sure we grab the territory. Yeah, so we could advance there and then hold position there and support an advance on this position. Once we've taken that, then they can push forward up into the forest there. And maybe not worry too much about advancing in here, just advance in. I mean, even maybe as far as the open ground there. All right. We've got the makings of a rambling plan. So I'm going to go and probably spend the next two hours deploying my forces. So I shall bring you guys back. In fact, I might actually split this. Um, so that's over 20 minutes already of nattering. Um, yeah, so I think I'll we'll probably end this video here and then we'll have a separate video uh, showing the battle. Yeah, I think we'll do that. So thanks very much for watching this sort of brain dump of information. Uh, it's just me, Thess. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please leave me a comment and rate the video. And I hope to see you for the battle.